Great Kills and Bay Terrace have a rich history on Staten Island. Throughout the decades since the founding of each neighborhood, they have grown both commercially and residentially. The neighborhoods have also expanded upon parks and points of interest. Great Kills and Bay Terrace have much to offer current and future residents. In the Great Kills neighborhood, there are several points of interest. They are Great Kills Babe Ruth Baseball League, Great Kills Little League, Great Kills Swim Club, Holterman's Bakery, and the Great Kills branch of the New York Public Library. The Great Kills Babe Ruth Baseball League and the Great Kills Little League are the local baseball and softball leagues. The Great Kills Babe Ruth Baseball League is for older kids, while the Great Kills Little League is for younger kids. The Great Kills Little League Clubhouse is located at 64 Kennington Street, which is also used by the Great Kills Babe Ruth League. The Great Kills Swim Club is located at 27 Nahant Street, next to the Great Kills Little League Clubhouse. It has been privately owned and run by 500 families since it was first established in 1962. Holterman's Bakery is the oldest running bakery on Staten Island. It was first established when German-born Klaus Holterman opened his bakery in what is currently the historic Richmond Town Treasure House. In the 1930s, the Holterman family moved to their current location at 405 Arthur Kill Road. Since the first loaves of bread were baked by Klaus Holterman, Holterman's Bakery has continued making German-style bread and other baked goods. The Great Kills branch of the New York Public Library is located at 56 Giffords Lane. In 2005, the library was expanded. The lower level was made into a community room. The first floor is for young adult and adult books, as well as references, while the top floor is for children's books. In the Bay Terrace neighborhood, there aren't many points of interest or parks due to the fact that it's made up mostly of housing. Small as it may be, Bay Terrace has the Ocean View Cemetery and Greencroft Playground. Ocean View Cemetery, a non-sectarian cemetery, is located at 3315 Amboy Road. Greencroft Playground you will find located next to PS53. It has several uses that residents enjoy, which include a junior baseball field, two basketball courts, a play unit, spray showers, benches, a drinking fountain, and a bathroom. Located in the Great Kills neighborhood, you can find such parks as Crescent Beach Park, Seaside Wildlife Nature Preserve, Gateway National Recreation Area's Great Kills Park, King Fisher Park, Seidenberg Park, the smaller Great Kills Park, which is next to PS8, and PS32 Community Playground. Crescent Beach Park is made up of about 67 acres of land. This beachfront is made up of woodlands, a waterfront, a playground, a dog run, and an open field. Crescent Beach Park is located across the water from Great Kills Park along Tennyson Drive. Along with the natural areas to enjoy, visitors get a nice view of Great Kills Harbor, the Raritan Bay, and the Verrazano Narrows Bridge. Seaside Wildlife Nature Preserve is a 20-acre piece of land just north of Crescent Beach Park. The park house is a nautical-themed playground, benches, a 24-foot gazebo, a boardwalk, and drinking fountains. The park was once an open area. In 2006, New York City's Departments of Parks, Sanitation, and Environmental Protection, along with many other agencies, stepped in and refurbished the site creating the current day park and playground. Gateway National Recreation Area's Great Kills Park didn't become a national park until 1973. Originally, the city of New York purchased the land and surrounding area on which Gateway National Recreation Area's Great Kills Park section is now currently located. The city's plan was to build a park on the land. Unfortunately, due to the Great Depression, the city didn't have the funds to build the park and construction was halted until 1949. Since becoming a national park, Great Kills Park has grown in size to 580 acres. The park has walking and bike paths, two play units, open fields, access to the beach, marina and harbor, sports fields and a model airplane field. The marina within the park is the Great Kills Nichols Marina. 
It is a nice place for local fishermen and boaters to enjoy the ocean. The Great Kills Nichols Marina is independently owned and maintained. Kingfisher Park, also known as the Islington Pond Park Preserve, is one of 24 forever wild nature preserves. Kingfisher Park is roughly 22 acres of land just below La Tourette Park and Golf Course. Stretching across Miles Avenue from Fairfield Street to Islington Street, you can find Kingfisher Pond. Within Kingfisher Park, you can find three distinct trails that take you through different areas of the park, including the trail around Kingfisher Pond. Seidenberg Park was originally called Evergreen Park Preserve. The park is 23 acres of land bought by the City of New York that was given to the New York City Department of Parks and Recreation. This park is another forever wild nature preserve located on Staten Island. In 2004, Evergreen Park Preserve was renamed as Seidenberg Park in commemoration of fallen firefighter Christopher J. Seidenberg. Great Kills Park, located next to Public School 8, has three basketball courts, play units, a spray shower, swings, benches, and drinking fountains. PS32 Community Playground has open facilities for public use, which include play units, an asphalt court with basketball hoops, two handball courts, and a seating area for your enjoyment. Along with these great parks, Great Kills also has a couple of ponds that are part of the Blue Belt. Jack's Pond is a small pond located between Clovis Road and Ramble Road. This pond is a nice place to relax, watch the ducks and swans, or fish. Wood Duck Pond is located between Amboy Road and Oakdale Street off of Ramblewood Avenue. This pond not only offers a nice place to relax, but there is also a short trail as well. This pond is much more secluded than Jack's Pond as it is surrounded by houses. Housing in the neighborhoods has changed much over the years. As older homes are renovated or torn down, newer homes are built. In Bay Terrace, you can find such housing styles as semi-detached, one and two family residences, as well as detached homes in the southern section of the neighborhood. In the northern section, you can find such housing styles as one and two family detached houses. These styles of homes can also be found throughout the Great Kills neighborhood. Additionally, you can find large single family detached houses on streets around Dent Road, as well as single and two family detached houses on streets such as Doan Avenue and Elverton Avenue. Both neighborhoods share the commonality of having housing complexes comprising of condominiums, co-ops, townhouses, and apartments. In the Bay Terrace neighborhood, there are the Evergreen Woodcutter Estates, the Woodlands, and Kensington Gardens. In the Great Kills neighborhood, there are the Avon Housing Complex and the Amboy Co-ops, just to name a few. The Great Kills neighborhood has the pleasure of housing its own little community with a couple of luxury housing complexes along its waterfront. The heart of this community is Mansion Avenue, where you can find such eateries as Cole's Dockside and the Marina Cafe. You can also find the Mansion Marina, the Richmond County Yacht Club, and the Great Kills Yacht Club. Mansion Marina is located at 112 Mansion Avenue, the marina is a great spot for fishing and enjoying the harbor. Also along Mansion Avenue, you can find the Richmond County Yacht Club, which since its inception has been involved in sailboat racing. The Great Kills Yacht Club is an exclusive club with a 15 year waiting list for new members. This yacht club offers members a dry dock area in the off season and usage of their private slips in the marina. Port Regal is a condominium community that overlooks the marinas. The condos are flamingo pink with red Spanish style roofs. It's the perfect location for anyone trying to get a South Florida style home in New York City. Located just below Highland Boulevard, you can find Sailor's Key. Sailor's Key is another community in the vicinity of the marinas. It consists primarily of one and two family luxury townhouses. Commercially, Great Kills has many different types of stores, ranging from various eateries, grocery stores, and independent shops lining both sides of Highland Boulevard between Armstrong Avenue and Nelson Avenue. Just as well, there are many stores lining Giffords Lane and Amboy Road within the neighborhood's boundaries. 
shared by both the Great Kills and Bay Terrace neighborhoods, located at 100 to 150 Greaves Lane is the Evergreen Plaza. In Bay Terrace, located at 3295 Amboy Road is the Riviera Plaza. Bay Terrace is only home to one school, PS53 on Durant Avenue. The Great Kills neighborhood has several schools, both public and private, ranging from pre-K to 12th grade. The public schools include PS32 on Elverton Avenue, PS37 on Fairfield Street, PS8 on Lindenwood Road, and IS24 on Cleveland Avenue. The private schools include the Tanglewood School, which offers pre-K and kindergarten classes, as well as a daycare center on Tanglewood Drive, St. Clair's School, which offers classes from kindergarten to eighth grade on Lindenwood Road, Staten Island Montessori School, which offers classes in preschool and kindergarten through eighth grade, and the Francis School, with classes from grades nine through 12, both located on Amboy Road. Great Kills and Bay Terrace share many of the same buses as they travel through both neighborhoods. They are the S78, which travels down Highland Boulevard from the St. George Ferry Terminal to the Bricktown Mall in Charleston, and the S79, which travels over the Verrazano Narrows Bridge from Brooklyn down Highland Boulevard to the Staten Island Mall. If you're taking the bus into Lower and Midtown Manhattan, you have many options from these neighborhoods. There are the X1, X4, X5, X7, and X8 express buses that travel down Highland Boulevard on their routes into the busy borough. Great Kills also has the S74 and Limited S84, which stop along Arthurkill Road on their routes from the St. George Ferry Terminal to the Bricktown Mall in Charleston. The S54, which stops on Giffords Lane on its route from West New Brighton to Eltingville, and the X15 Express Bus, which runs along Arthurkill Road on its route into Lower Manhattan. As well as having the buses, neighborhood residents have the option of taking the Staten Island train. The train stops in Great Kills on Giffords Lane and Brower Court. In Bay Terrace, the train stops at Justin Avenue and South Railroad Avenue. These stops are made along the train route from the St. George Ferry Terminal down to Tottenville and back. For more information on the neighborhoods of Staten Island, you can visit our website at realestatesiny.com.